Okay, today we will start our discussion on Intel 8086 architecture. Here we will discuss uh, about features of 8086 pin diagram and architecture, internal architecture of 8086. Okay, the features of 8086 is having the 16 pin bit ALU and 16 bit pin, pin ALU and 20 bit added address lines and 16 bit data lines are there. The main way the main advantage of this 86 is that where we can use both 16 bit also and 8 bit for both performing both arithmetic and logical operations and even for data transferring also and the it uh, having the 20 bit address lines uh, which can access, access maximum of 1 megabyte of or 1 megabyte of memory locations okay. the member uh, because of this 1 megabyte of so multi programming is made more uh, feasible execution or multitasking you can perform it with this 8086 okay. next uh, one more features are there we few more features are there the capacity multiple ca capacity along with the which can co uh, which can go co with uh, uh, math co processor like 8087 or io processor 8089 and even its uh, <coughs> electric characteristics are it can operate with the 5 volt with a single phase line and with the frequency working frequency uh, which is generated by usually with the 828 for uh, clock generator ICTs and even it is available different version with based on their frequency ranges like 5 megahertz uh, 8 megahertz and even for 10 megahertz also it is. and it having the 40 pin configuration it's most uh, made, made up of uh, high MOS technology having 20,000 of transistor in the circuit entries. so it is bad is the the technology decided by again the Intel who can even the more number of transistors also are there in 8086 and some few versions are there it is or higher options so again it is uh, compared to <coughs> the addressing and data multiplexing is similar to 8085 which is the uh, previous version microprocessor and the same technology is used uh, here also it is and even the throughput is improved in 8086 because of the pipelining pipelining means the prefetched instructions are there in the inside the microprocessor it is so here the 8086 supports uh, 6 bytes of prefetched data or instruction in the 8086 microprocessor. Okay. Now move on to the pin diagram. The pin diagram 40 pin deep IC. So 40 pin deep, uh, deep IC. So 40 pin deep IC. Then uh, uh, the power supply VCC. So the dual in pack IC, so both side uh, symmetric pin numbers are there, one side is 20, another side is 20. So here, here it's having the multiplexed or multiplexed 16 bit lines are there. You can observe pin number 2 to pin number 16, then pin number 39, which are multiplexed data and address. So with, which can be used for both address also and data also, but not simultaneous. So this is decided by the, uh, the uh, where is the, the which at where this is decided by ALE pin, the which is pin number where is the ALE, ALE, ALE. Okay, okay, pin number 26 which work in the minimum mode it is. Okay. The red color things are this pin Sorry? access in the Some minimum point. mode and blue color act in the maximum mode it is. And the few more pins are like ground, NMI, non-maskable interrupt then interrupt request then clock and one more ground then uh, few are status signal and address signals like a16 to a19 which are four bits basically used to generate the hardware uh, hardware addresses then bh barbers i enable basically used for to select the um, memory memory tables because uh, 8086 divide the memory into even addresses and uh, odd addresses it is the M slash N by M bar it is to choose minimum mode and maximum mode. and RD is it basically used to select the read signal and these are request and grant signal and this is the lock signal and these are the status signal with status indicator status of the queue or you can status stop the for memory read or write operation and this is queue QS bar it is status signal then uh, test signal is to uh, enable or disable the test instruction ready is basically used for any uh, to uh, communicate with any dma devices uh, corresponding to hold and hold acknowledge 
and work in the maximum mode. Sorry, in the minimum mode. Next, and this is the uh, complete architecture of a basic architecture of 8086. And the two it divided into two blocks. One is BIU. That is here BIU. And another is. Another is EU Education Unit. This one, Education Unit. So, BIU is basically which uh, generate the physical address of that data, and uh, also the queue which stores the six byte of queue. This one queue. Even in 8088, which is the one more version of 8086 or higher version of 8086, the only difference is 8086. The 888 is that in, in the few differences are there between 8086 and 88. It is 86 uh, having 6 bytes of queue and 88 it is 4 byte queue and this is 86 is 16 bit will support and 8 bit also support but 88 support only 8 bit it is data processing or even data transfer also. The main uh, here again the view the uh, uh, 5 16 bit registers are there that is ES, CS, SS, DS and IP. ES means extra segment, CS code segment, SS tag segment, DS data segment and IP instruction pointer it is. The main work of this because the Intel 80, the 8086 that divides the memory into four segments that is extra segment, core segment, start, stack segment and data segment. The work of these four registers which holds the base address of those segment registers and in the an instruction pointer similar to program counter, program counter in the 8085 which holds the address of the next instruction to be executed or patched. Then the here we can observe that Q having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, bytes, uh, 6 bytes you can data, you can store it in the pipeline architecture. So why, for example, if the 6th instruction is executing in the execution unit, so the, the rest all remaining, uh, remaining, so the 6th will get available in the move to the execution unit and rest 4, sorry, rest 5 will be there in the queue it is. And next one more uh, get, first one get empty. Is here we'll get our uh, next 7th uh, uh, byte get created from the memory or external memory it is through this uh, with the help of extra segment or based on code segment address it is okay. control unit name itself indicate that uh, to control the activities of the microprocessor it is again the execution unit having the 16 bit and 8 bit resistors are there to perform 8 bit and uh, 16 bit arithmetic or logical operation it is that is a, AX, BX, DX are all are 16 bit and AH, BH, CH, DH and AL, BL, CL, DL are 8 bit and it, again th 4 more 16 bits registers are there that is SP, BP, SI and DA stack pointer, base pointer, source index and destination index stack pointer basically used to hold address of the top of the stack one more base pointer which will also hold the address of the top of the stack to access the or retrieve the data or to modify data in the stack pointer S and A basically used for if you are working with any array kind of data or string kind of data as it is. Okay. The LU again the name itself indicates all arithmetic and logical unit which performs both arithmetic and logical units and provides the result and also it provides the result with the status of that result within the then flag bits. So 808 say supports 9 flag bits uh, which includes the interrupt uh, related flag bits and arithmetic flag bits it is. The fetching next instance while uh, now move on to next part is the pipeline. 